Hello, my name is David Lamplew and I work for ASOL Art Supplies in Austin, Texas. I'm here today to answer the question, how do you draw treasure chests? I put in the horizon line because what the hey. And there is the down perspective. There are the two vanishing points. Getting a little more complicated here. Doing a couple vanishing points. Actually, three vanishing points because these lines radiate down. Now, the lid like that. The lid is kind of a half oval in shape. This exercise, or like anything that's almost like a still life, uh, it's, it's all going to be, you're all going to be building these things out of shapes. You notice I'm doing rectangles and base shapes like ovals and stuff and just trying to get them in in perspective before you go into detail like reflection and that type of stuff. This box has, it's made of wood. You want to make it solid so you really show that it's solid. It can hold a whole bunch of jewels which are very heavy. When these chests used to be used in olden, ye old days, they were quite heavy and if you put them down wrong, wooden corners that were mitered together would get smashed. So they tended to put uh, iron ribbing on the outside. The idea came from making barrels. Now what would a pirate chest be without handles? You couldn't take it anywhere, it would just sit there. So you might want to put in a handle. This one that I got in photo reference has a wooden handle. I think I will second that emotion and do it with a wooden handle. Trying to, I frequently will do these kind of sweeping motions back to my vanishing points to make sure I don't lose sight entirely of them. Sometimes I'll say, you know what, I was just kind of messing with that vanishing point. It really is not where I thought it was right there. It's more like right there. So there's my third vanishing point. Now you can do all this stuff and line it out with a ruler and I exhort you for doing it um, in three point perspective like this. Sometimes this bottom vanishing point is quite a bit down here and it can be very complicated drawing radiating lines to it. Okay, we need to get to some treasure because, you know, this chest all well and good um, is nothing but an old chest if there isn't some treasure in it. So, um, and that's really what you want to see. What I got in here all treasure chests to make them treasure chests, a good idea is strings of pearls. Um, kind of easy to draw. They're made up of little balls. You want to have kind of a pile of coins and that pile has dimensionality and it works in perspective. Anyway, it's time we put a goblet or something else in here so we can get some bigger objects in there. Again, the goblet is in relative perspective. I'm going to put little handles on it. Maybe it's somebody's bowling trophy or pirating trophy, whatever. Uh, pirates get, you know, world's most booty. I don't know. So we got couple reflection lines. These are from, you know, darker shapes up here. And that is how you draw treasure chests. 